7 Indicators Every DeFi Investor Should Know. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the instant crypto updates. With the DeFi space moving at breakneck speeds, it can be hard to make sense of the avalanche of new projects. Fundamental analysis seeks to determine whether a protocol is overvalued or undervalued, so that investors and traders can make better decisions on their positions. 1. Total Value Locked TVL. As the name would suggest, Total Value Locked TVL is the aggregate amount of funds locked into a DeFi protocol. You could think of TVL as all the liquidity in the liquidity pools of a given money marketplace. For example, in Uniswap's case, TVL means the amount of funds deposited by liquidity providers to the protocol. TVL can be a useful data point that gives you an idea about the overall interest in DeFi. TVL can also be effective in comparing the market share of different DeFi protocols. This can be especially useful for investors who are looking for undervalued DeFi projects. 2. Price to Sales Ratio PS Ratio In the case of a more traditional business, the price to sales ratio, PS Ratio, compares the price of the company's stock to its revenues. This ratio is then used to determine whether the stock is undervalued or overvalued. Since many DeFi protocols already generate revenue, a similar metric can be used for them as well. How can you use it? You'll need to divide the market capitalization of the protocol by its revenue. The basic idea is that the lower the ratio is, the more undervalued the protocol may be. 3. Token Supply on Exchanges Another strategy involves tracking the token supply on cryptocurrency exchanges. When sellers want to sell their tokens, they usually do so on centralized exchanges CEXs. That said, there are a growing number of options available to users on decentralized exchanges DEXs, which don't require trust in an intermediary. However, centralized venues tend to boast much stronger liquidity. This is why it's important to pay attention to token supply on CEXs. Here's a simple assumption about token supply. When there are a large number of tokens on exchanges, sell pressure may be higher. Since holders and whales aren't holding their funds in their own wallets, it could be likely that they are looking to sell them. 4. Token Balance Changes on Exchanges We already know that keeping an eye on token supply can be useful. But looking at only the token balances may not be enough. It can also be helpful to look at recent changes in those balances. Large token balance changes on exchanges can often signal an increase in volatility. For example, consider the opposite scenario of what we've just discussed about token balances. If large holdings are being withdrawn from CEXs, that may indicate that whales are accumulating the token. If they were looking to sell soon, why would they withdraw to their own wallets? This is how monitoring token movements can be useful. 5. Unique Address Count while it has its limitations, a steadily increasing amount of addresses holding a particular coin or token should point to increased usage. On the surface, it would appear that more addresses correlates with more users and growing adoption. 6. Non-speculative usage. So you're eyeing up some emoji-based token that promises crazy returns, but does it actually do anything? It might get the Charles Ponzi seal of approval if its sole purpose is to appreciate in price but it won't be sustainable for long. 7. Inflation Rate Wow, a token with a small supply. That's a really good sign, right? Not necessarily. Another vital metric to keep an eye on is the inflation rate. A small supply now doesn't guarantee a small supply forever, particularly if new tokens are continuously minted. A notable property of Bitcoin is a constantly diminishing inflation rate, which should theoretically prevent debasement of existing units in the future. 